Welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories by Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Millie Bell, President and Founder of Skin Health Solutions. Millie, welcome to the show. Thank you, Fran. It's an honor to be here. It is my pleasure to have you be here. You know, we in fact did business several years ago, and I have just been in awe of what you do with your family business, and so it's great to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's been a labor of love, you know, so, mm -hmm. uh, especially with my family, mm -hmm. and that's something I dreamed of for a long time. Mm -hmm. Well, take us back. I know your story, but our audience doesn't. Um, what really got you on this path of entrepreneurship? Well, that, start, I, that started a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to work for myself. I always wanted to have my own business. And I grew up, of course, and graduated during the 60s, which was, mm -hmm. you know, civil rights. Mm -hmm. So it was a time when we had opportunities that we didn't have before. So I wanted to just go as far as I could. Uh, However, I got married at 16, <laughs> became wow. a mother at 17. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my, um, you know, my dreams of a college education and that kind of thing sort of were put on hold. Um, I still worked and I just, in my heart, I thought, you know, something's gonna happen and when it happens, I better be ready. <laughs> mm. So I, I sort of had a lot of on the job learning in different fields. Um, the first, uh, after my second divorce, I, I worked at uh, Strawbridge's in the makeup department. Oh my goodness, Strawbridge's. Yes. <laughs> wow. And um, a friend of mine asked me to come and put makeup on a model that he had. And I went and I did it as a favor because I love to just experiment with the, you know, the makeup and the people's faces. And then he gave me an envelope and it had $15 in it. And I, oh. I felt like I could fly. I mm. felt, oh my gosh, I can make money doing this and I love to do it. Mm -hmm. It was like a revelation. Mm -hmm. So the beauty industry was something that I always sort of had, you know, uh, a special interest in mm -hmm. because I noticed how people felt better, you know, mm -hmm. they were treated better when they looked better, uh, when they looked more professional, when they looked more polished. Mm -hmm. So I just figured everybody needs to have a little bit of that, you know, and, and, and know that they can feel confident and just thrust ahead and, and people would treat them a little differently. Um, so that's, that's sort of the first time I really, you know, um, really, really wanted to have a, a business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I sort of followed that trail of uh, the beauty industry. I, you know, I did makeup on the side for for years, even when I worked at a radio station, I sold radio advertising mm -hmm. um, with the condition that I could take jobs on the side. Okay, great, <laughs> and my great. manager was like, okay with that. Mm -hmm. I learned how to write copy, so mm -hmm. I wrote a lot of radio copy, which helped me later on as, uh, you know, in writing brochures and articles and things like that uh, for my business. So everything, every job that I had, it seemed like it sort of added to my repertoire of skills that I could bring to my business. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's, that's sort of the way, and, and since I did work so much, and it was usually jobs that kept me, like, uh, in salons, mm -hmm. I wanted to be a makeup artist, mm -hmm. so I worked for a guy that did stage and theatrical makeup so he could teach me, oh, and cool. <clears throat> then I had my own freelance uh, business doing, t uh, doing makeup for, you know, TV commercials and models and, and things like that, so it was... Um, you know, sometimes I was up early in the morning, home late at night, but I live with my mother, you know, so mm -hmm. she sort of raised my kids. And I always thought one day I want to have a business where we could all work together so I could get to know them as, as people, you right. know, and we could really share and, and work and grow together. So that was sort of, you know, in the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. But, you know. It's interesting working with family. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what brought it to the front of your mind? I mean, I love the sort of you're laying the steps of the story. Mm -hmm. So um, well, how did it kind of come to the fact that it was a business with you and your daughters? Well, um, I, well, I sort of had the opportunity to work for different companies mm -hmm. and I'd go to night schools. I went to Wharton. Uh, I went to some other night schools to learn whatever I needed to learn in order to do that, 
you know, that function. And um, after a while, I ran, um, I was, uh, I worked for another company, a skincare company, and I became vice president of everything. Instead of getting a raise, I got a title. So mm. I was vice president of research, uh, not research, I'm sorry, of sales, vice president of marketing, vice president of um, education and training, and I loved it. I mean, it was like an education on, the, and I worked with chemists and doctors, and um, the company traveled all over the country, and we educated people, mostly estheticians and doctors, on how to incorporate the uh, aesthetic part mm -hmm. uh, of the of your you know the aesthetics into your medical practice, mm -hmm. and that was sort of the beginning of the uh, medical aesthetics and the medi spas. So it was uh, an interesting time, and we had a lot of people that were um, donating time, a lot of educators, do high level doctors, um, heads of dermatology departments at major colleges, mm -hmm. and they would come and do little part segments of a seminar, and uh, so they could learn too. And it was just really fun and interesting, and we traveled a lot in Canada, mm -hmm. Trinidad, East Coast, Ooh, West Coast, wow. yeah. Uh, north and south, so I mean it, it was like I said a learning on the job experience, so I didn't make a, a lot of money, but had a lot of titles <laughs> <laughs> and I learned a lot Excellent. about running a business. Excellent. So, and, and not only that, I learned a lot about ingredients mm -hmm. and the way ingredients work in products and on your skin mm -hmm. and the different levels of ingredients. Um, you can have an ingredient like glycolic and it could be um, uh, a mm, industrial level, mm -hmm. a food level, or um, a pharmaceutical level. Mm -hmm. So even though it says the same thing on the label, it's glycolic. Mm -hmm. But you know the purity it means a lot, mm -hmm. especially if you have sensitive and problem skin. Absolutely. So take us to where you started your company. Well, I started my company. Um, uh, through a blessing by God, I was, um, I've always been interested in giving back to the community. And I'm on several, you know, boards, but I, I um, was soliciting for the Coatesville uh, uh, Cultural Society. And I'd been involved in that for years, and we wanted to build a theater in Coatesville. So I went to one of the uh, philanthropists, and I was asking for money again, which is hard for me to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate to do that, but, I, I believed in it, I wanted it to happen. So, you know, he would donate money and you know, the next year I'd go back and he'd donate more money. So one time he asked me, um, well, how are you doing? And what are you doing? And I thought, um, well, I real, I, and at that time I was working for a physician on the main line and I was doing aesthetics at night and I did, I was his uh, office manager for the cosmetic practice during the day. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I just wanna do skincare. And uh, you know, I asked my boss if uh, if I could just rent his space and do that. But he he liked what I was doing at, in the medical ah, practice, and he okay. said, you know, he needed me to do what he needed me to do. Right. And so I thought, well, it's just not time. Mm -hmm. So my um, uh, the gentleman said, well, it sounds like you need your own business. Come back with a plan. Wow. And I know. I was reading a book at that time. <laughs> This is one of those experiences. I was reading a book called The Wisdom of Florence Scovel Shin, mm -hmm. and it was about how to direct your thoughts so that they become things, mm -hmm. and how your words have power and how your thoughts have power. So I've been reading it every day. I had it with me in the car. I had mm -hmm. it, whenever I had a negative thought, I'd open it up and read mm -hmm. something positive. Um, and when that happened, it scared the life out of me. I mean, I thought, I almost, like walking out, I was like, kind of wobbly. wobbly right and, and well anyway that's what happened and mm. I I came back with a, a sketchy plan and I was on my way and mm -hmm. that time was so scary but so exciting but you know I read in that book somewhere that fear is lack of faith mm. and I have a very strong faith mm -hmm. and I just latched on to that mm -hmm. and that helped to keep me sort of stable through all that. That and is wonderful. Yeah, wow. it, it was a blessing. It mm -hmm. was a miracle, actually. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's sort of like I always thought. If I was ready, mm -hmm. when the 
opportunity presented itself, it, it would happen. So wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Well, show us your products. Show us what you have. Well, my products are. Well, they were formulated for very sensitive and problem skin. Mm -hmm. They were my very, very fam uh, favorite clients. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that ha they've gone to dermatologists, they've gone to doctors, they've changed their diet, they've done some other things, and their skin still had problems. Mm -hmm. So, sh should I show you a little? Sure. Yeah, please, okay. please. This is our most popular product. This is called the Hyaluronic Therapeutic Cream. Mm -hmm. Hyaluronic, by the way, is the most powerful natural moisturizing ingredient known to science. Mm -hmm. And you'll hear it on TV now, yes. but we've had it for over 13 years. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, it's amazing. I'll just get a little spatula here to mm -hmm. give you a little. Okay. Ooh. Um, rub it. Moisture is one of the, uh, oops, the biggest anti-aging ingredients that you can mm -hmm. have. Uh, you know, we always, I mean, moisturizers, but you can moisturize your skin by sealing it mm -hmm. with um, a, an occlusive agent like uh, Vaseline or mm -hmm. Aquaphor or something like that. Our products attract and hold moisture and it pushes that moisture down onto your skin. The hyaluronic, we use a large molecule, molecule hyaluronic, so it doesn't penetrate your skin. Mm -hmm. It lies on the surface and holds that moisture in there. Mm -hmm. And our formulations are really, and we had a, I didn't whip this up in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you actually had a lab. <laughs> we had a laboratory, we had a PhD right. chemist, a cosmetic chemist, which is really different from regular chemistry. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't realize that. Mm -hmm. It's a whole different, um, language and chemistry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, we had him formulate with us for the first six months. And I had ingredients that I had wanted to use in products that when I was working with the other company that they didn't have. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, we came up with those. Some things worked, some things didn't work with our base formula. So um, it was, you know, a trial and error thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then we had, you know, we had the line pretty much together. Terrific, and you have an example of your line. Would you show that to the oh, yes. audience, and then and yeah. let us let them know how they can get in touch with you? Um, we are located uh, in Downingtown. Our phone number is 610-269-7009. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have a website. Mm -hmm. The website is www.dermha. That's D E R M H A. Dot com, mm -hmm. and you can purchase over the website. We're also uh, we're sold through some uh, physicians' offices in the area and across the country. Mm -hmm. So um, you can also call us, and we can tell you those those places where you can buy it. And what, for example, is in that that kit right there? Just to oh, this. point it out. Yeah, this. Even if it stays in the plastic, okay. just to briefly point out what. This is our gentle face and body wash. The gentle face and body wash is. It lasts over three months. Mm -hmm. you use a little of it in water. We all of our cleansers are water-based. Mm -hmm. All of our moisturizers are water-based. Mm -hmm. So um, it's for very very sensitive skin. It's great for eczema, mm -hmm. uh, for rosacea, for any any type of sensitive healing skin. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a very gentle antibacterial ingredient in there, so it helps to fight infection while you're healing. It was all formulated for use, like I said, in physicians' offices for people mm -hmm. that were had compromised skin. Um, this is the Hyaluronic Moisture Cream Plus, and uh, this is one of the my favorite. I use this morning and night, mm -hmm. and I mean the thing that I love most about my business, the thing that I like most about what I've created is that I can actually tell people, okay, if you do this, if you do that, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I've gotten people off of, of their rosacea medis medication, and I mean completely. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I would say you might be able to cut down on your medication, and mm -hmm. they come back and say, I don't use it anymore. Oh, my goodness. It's, um, you know. And the final two products? Well, this is the, the therapeutic cream again. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what's for you. And uh, this is our cream mask. Okay. Our cream mask is um, very hydrating. It's a hydrating, mm -hmm. calming, uh, soothing mask. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times our, our skin is very stressed and, mm -hmm. you know, we just need a pick-me-up. We need to feel relaxed and, and hydrated. It's got things in it like aloe, valerian, um, calendula, mm. Mm. actually tamanu, which is very healing too. And so people with acne, sometimes they overly dry their skin. The cream mask, even though you would think it's for somebody older with dry skin, mm -hmm. for acne skin, it's really good. 
Wow. Millie, thank you so much for bringing your product, sharing your story and your knowledge. And I know that it is totally impolite to ask someone to reveal their age. <laughs> and I will say that you have always looked gorgeous and you continue to look gorgeous. So thank you for being a model of beauty and a model of just great skin care and a wonderful businesswoman. Well, thank you, Fran. And you too. Thank you. I've always admired you and what you do. Thank you. You're amazing. Well, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. Our guest today is Millie Bell, president and founder of Skin Health Solutions. And you can find her and her products on the web at www.dermha. Look forward to seeing you on our next episode, and thank you again.